Is there any possibility, any possibility at all, that you might have misunderstood Dr. Gorman's order? Yes, there is. In what way? Well, I was working a double shift that day, and I was awfully tired, so I guess I might have thought Dr. Gorman said QID when what he really said was QD, once a day. I see. In other words, uh, what Dr. Gorman intended was a daily dose of one gram, which we've already established is a perfectly safe dosage for the drug. But because you were so fatigued from overwork that you misunderstood him and wrote down a different order, an order that resulted in Mrs. Harrison receiving four times the dosage? Yes. I feel terrible, but I think that's what I did. Thank you, Miss Lawlin. No further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Sprague, you may cross-examine. No questions, Your Honor. What's going on? You'll see. Mr. Sprague, am I to understand that you don't wish to question this witness at all? That is correct, Your Honor. Why doesn't he try to shake her testimony? I must confess I'm more than a little surprised, sir. Nevertheless, Your Honor, Dan, her husband, quit his job last Friday, told friends he was going to go to work for Sendricks Incorporated for twice the salary. Mr. Hammond, so, do you have any further So Sendricks Incorporated is owned by a close friend of Carl Gorman's. No further witnesses, Your Honor. See how fair the good guys can play? Well, then does the plaintiff have any rebuttal? Can your dad prove it? Probably, but he doesn't have to. He'll tell the court when it's over. If he brings it up now, all he gets is a mistrial. He's not interested in that. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, we would...